Well, guys, let's first start with the victim. We've learned they are both Navy personnel assigned to Fort Detrick. As for how they're doing, we're told one of them is still in critical condition at shock trauma in Baltimore, and the other is thankfully expected to be released from the hospital tomorrow. Police say the suspect in this case used a rifle in his attack. One of the questions that we've been trying to get the answer to all day is looking into the connection between the technology park where the shooting occurred and the military. Police told us this afternoon the Navy has a workspace in that office park. Another question, how did the suspect, Fantahoon Wuldesenebet, a Navy hospital corpsman, get on base if there was a bolo or be on the lookout alert for him? Here's what Fort Detrick's commanding general says. Dietrich police were in fact aware of the bolo when the suspect pulled up to the gate. Anyone entering a military base, even those who work there, has to go through security checks. But before they could confirm the suspect matched the alert, he sped off. The general explains he did not run into or break through any barriers. Uh, we are going to absolutely uh, uncover what happened, why it happened. And if there is a need to uh, put in additional control measures, we absolutely will. But um, when uh, that barrier uh, actually uh, uh, stood up or if it didn't or if he drove around it, uh, we're going to find out and uh, unpack the details as much as we can in the next few days. And certainly if we need to uh, add additional control measures, uh, we will do just that. The suspect got about a half a mile into the base before he was eventually stopped and shot to death in a parking lot. And we are told that authorities say that they only fired when the suspect waved his firearm. Les? Yeah, Laura, this was just a, a, a huge sort of spasm of violence that happened today. Do we know any more about why? What was the motive? Well, reporters asked that question multiple times in multiple ways today. And as for the why, police and the Army won't say yet. We're told they are investigating the motive here, as well as the relationships and connections among those three sailors. This, of course, is just another reminder of the dangers that those who wear the uniform to serve and protect our nation every day face. There's been a lot going on lately. What are they doing to help the people on post? It has been a lot, so the Navy did send down a behavioral health team, and they're going to work with anyone who has been affected by this incident today and give them any resources. We're told the Army also set up a hotline, and as soon as they give us that number, we will pass it along to you, and we'll put it on WSA9.com as well as our mobile app. That is good information. We wish we didn't have to share it, but we will for sure. Laura, thank you.